matrix A is given, we want to find A inverse using column transformations now. Column transformations. Determinant A in this case, as we know, it is equal to minus 2, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, matrix A is invertible or we say A inverse exists. Now for column transformation, how do we start? Let's consider A inverse into A is equal to I. Therefore, A inverse into the given matrix 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 1 is equal to identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, in case of column transformations, we convert this matrix to identity matrix. And how we proceed? We proceed row-wise. So, first row we want to have 1, 0, 0. Using column operations, we want to achieve this. So, first element or first row we are trying to get as 1, 0, 0. So here we want to have 1. As the second column has already 1 here, so we can use the operation interchanging first column with second column. So using the operation C1 interchange with C2 we get A inverse into the matrix. We are interchanging first two columns. So first column now will be 1, 2, 1, then 0, 1, 3, and 2, 3, 1. Same operation on the right hand side. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now we already got 1 here, we already got 0 here, now we want to get 0 here. So our next operation will be using C3 changes to C3 changes to C3 minus 2 times C1. Therefore A inverse, now C3 changes. So, first two columns will remain as it is 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 3 as it is 2 minus 2 times 1. So, here we get 0, 3 minus 2 times that means 3 minus 4 that will be minus 1 here and 1 minus 2 is minus 1 here is equal to same operation on the right hand side. Let's keep the first two columns as it is 0, 1, 0. 1, 0, 0 as it is. Now 0, this is this will remain as 0, 0 minus 2 times 1. So minus 2 here and 1 as it is. Next, so first row is done, 1, 0, 0. Now next row, you will observe that we already have 1 here. Now what we want to get is 0 here and 0 here. So let's try to get 0 here in this place. We will try to get 0. So using now row one, uh, column 1 C1 changes to C1 changes to C1 minus 2 times C2. Therefore A inverse into C1 minus 2 times C2. First element will be as it is. This element will become 0. And this will be 1 minus 6. That is equal to minus 5. Other two columns add it is 0, 1, 3. 
0 minus 1 minus 1 is equal to right hand side is c1 minus 2 c2 so 0 minus 2 that is minus 2 this is 1 and this is 0 remaining 2 as it is remaining 2 columns as it is so now we got first row 100 zero, zero, second row 0 1 now here we want to have 0 so using our next operation will be here we want to have 0 so c3 changes to c3 plus c2 therefore a inverse c3 changes to c3 plus c2 therefore first two columns as it is 1 0 minus 5 0 1 3 and third column will change this will be 0 here this will be 0 here and minus 1 plus 3 so that will be 2 here is equal to using same operation so minus 2 1 0 as it is 1 0 0 as it is and third column c3 plus c2 will give you 1 here minus 2 plus 0 is minus 2 here 1 plus 0 is 1 here so now first two rows we got now we want to have third row 0 0 1 so this place we want to have 1 so our next operation will be using c3 changes to 1 by 2 times c3 therefore a inverse 1 0 minus 5 0 1 3 this will be 0 0 1 right hand side minus 2 1 0 1 0 0 now third column we are multiplying with half so we get 1 by 2 here minus 1 here and half here now these two places we want to have 0 to get 0 here our next operation will be using c1 changes to c1 plus 5 times c3 c1 changes to 5 c1 plus 5 times c3 first element will remain as it is second element as it is minus 5 plus 5 will give you 0 then next two columns as it is minus 2 plus 5 times c3 so minus 2 plus 5 by 2 so you get 1 by 2 here next 1 minus 5 so this will be minus 4 and 0 plus 5 by 2 so that will be 5 by 2 next two columns as it is half minus half half now only thing left is this try to get 0 here so our next operation will be using now some operation with c2 so c2 changes to here we want to have 0 so which column will help us to get 0 here first column or the second column it, uh, first column or the third third column so c2 changes to c2 plus or minus it will be minus 3 times c3 Therefore, A inverse, first column as it is, second column, C2 minus 3, C3. So, 0, 1, 3 minus 3, 0, 0, 0, 1 is equal to C2 minus. So, first column as it is, we will write half minus 4, 5 by 2 as it is. Second column will change. C2 minus 3 times. So 1 minus 3 by 2. 1 minus 3 by 2. So you get minus half here. 0 plus 
3 minus 3 into minus 1 that means 3 plus so it will be 3 here and 0 minus 3 by 2. Third column as it is. So we already got identity matrix here. So A inverse into I is equal to matrix minus 4, 5 by 2, 3 minus 1. Here it is minus 3 by 2 and here it is half. Therefore inverse, A inverse is equal to half, minus half, half. Minus 4, 3, minus 1, 5 by 2, minus 3 by 2, half. And you may verify your answer by considering the product A into A inverse. Check whether you get identity matrix.